Hi guys, Shira here. I figured it's about time that I'd give you an update about what's been going on since I've been back in Toronto. So basically, I spend most of my time eating, biking, running, drawing, painting, and learning Arabic. Um, yes, you did hear me correctly. Um, I am learning how to speak Arabic. Um, I actually started this back during my Pesach vacation. Um, I bought a book and CD set from Amazon and I've been teaching myself. Why Arabic? From all the languages in the world? Yes, it's a pretty ugly language and the people who hate us are the ones who speak it, but um, I spent quite a lot of time in hospitals and other healthcare facilities over this past year in Israel, and I came to the realization that there are almost as many Arabs as there are Jews using the public healthcare. It's a nurse's job to communicate, to form the bridges of communication with patients. Mm. And I realized that I'll be able to be much better at my job if I could speak a possible Arabic. And it wouldn't hurt to be able to actually understand and eavesdrop on the conversations and know exactly what the Arabs are saying about us behind our backs. The truth is, once you know both Hebrew and English, Arabic really isn't all that difficult. Okay, I had to learn a whole new alphabet, and that did take some time to get in my head. But once that was done, when it comes to vocabulary, grammar, syntax, like, it's really very similar to Hebrew. I ran into my aunt to the supermarket this week, and she asked me if I worked out everything with that problematic course and credits. As I was checking out of the store, it struck me as weird that she asked me about these courses and these credits because I actually hadn't spoken to her at all in real life since I've been back in Toronto. Uh, I guess that's what happened when your family experiences your life through your vlogs. Anyways, um, ever since that exam, I've been trying to get in touch with somebody from the school to help me take care of the situation. Every single person that I contacted from the administration have told me that I must send an appeal to the Vada Hara, the teaching committee, which I did the day of the exam, and which I did again probably about two weeks ago, and they still have yet to get back to me. I finally got in phone contact with the head of the nursing program, who vowed to help me get the credits for these courses, because she said it just wouldn't be fair for me to have to retake these exams next year. She said, just like everybody else, that we have to wait for the vow out her, ah, but at least I know that I have her vouching for me, and I guess I hope that makes a difference. This whole situation is completely out of my hands now. It's a very difficult for thing for me to relinquish control like this. The other day I went with my sisters and my cousin to see the last Harry Potter movie. Um, the theater was completely empty. I guess that's what happens when you see a movie like this a month after it's released. Um, my family and I aren't really all that into the Harry Potter movies. We're more of the books people. But we do make sure to see every movie at least once. And it's usually just once. Interestingly enough, we've seen a Harry Potter musical, the Harry Potter spoof musical, a lot more than once. Um, I've talked about this in a previous video. Um, the link is here. Anyways, um, it seems that AVPM's characters' on-screen personalities have had much more of a lasting impression on us than we'd previously thought. Um, let me backtrack for a second. So everyone knows that Severus Snape is a really mean and scary character. Th throughout the series, you're not sure if he's a good guy or a bad guy. But what we do know is that he hated Harry's father, and therefore hates Harry, and Harry hates him, and he does everything he can to make Harry's life in Hogwarts miserable. In the seventh book, seventh movie, whatever, Snape is the headmaster of Hogwarts after he killed the previous headmaster, Dumbledore. In the seventh movie, there's a scene where Snape I mean, stands in front of the entire Hogwarts in student Dumbledore. body, at an assembly and announces that Harry Potter is broken into Hogwarts and they need to turn him over to Voldemort. And this is supposed to be a very serious and scary scene. I mean, the whole movie is pretty serious and scary. But when that scene began and Snape walks up in front of the entire school, my sisters and I just burst out laughing and couldn't stop laughing with it for the entire duration of that scene. Because in our heads, the on-screen Snape is more something like this. What the devil is going on here? What the devil is going on here? <laughs> what the devil is going on here? <laughs> what the devil is going on here? And my cousin, who has neither read the books nor has watched AVPM, did not get why we weren't taking that serious scene all that seriously. Speaking of Harry Potter, uh, tomorrow, Friday, my sister and I are going to Orlando for a week. Um, ever since they announced that they were going to build it, it's been my dying wish to visit the Harry Potter theme park in Orlando, Florida. Um, I'm thinking of doing a few vlogs while I'm there, you know, to share the excitement and to spread the jealousy a little bit. Um, so yeah, so I guess I'll see you then.
what? It's a BBM from Umbridge. Are you with Dumbledore? Did he get my text? Now you drag me into this? <laughs>